If you're a cat owner, you're well aware of the saying, dogs have owners, cats have servants. In the video this week, you'll see as I'm trying to get my bookcases somewhat organized, all the various help that I get from Tiki, Panther, and Zenith. Also understand what it's like to have a one-year-old, a six-year-old, and a 15-year-old. Hope you enjoy. In November, I decided it was time to redo my bookcases and get things organized, and I decided to film it while I was going through all of that. So I'm setting up the camera. What you can currently see is being recorded on my laptop. So I'll be having another video coming up where you can actually see what I'm doing with the books and how I decided to get them reorganized to find them easier. But I decided to share this bit partly because the laptop captured my silly kids doing their usual silly things on an average day. And I've clipped this down because organizing actually took me close to two hours and a little bit. Part of that was trying to decide the best place to put the camera to get the other capture. And of course, I also had to get some of the books from the other room. And Tiki's Cat TV is, of course, the living room window. But every once in a while, she has to follow me to find out what I'm doing and what room I'm in. And of course, Panther, the little supervisor, And you notice I put down that box at the end of the coffee table. And this roll cart just made it easier for me to move books and have something to put the books from the cubes on. And there is Panther up on the box, making it much easier for him to supervise what I'm up to. Tiki, on the other hand, thought he should be with her. And as I'm trying to decide what, how I want to organize the cubes, what books to put, in which cube to connect the information together, of course, Panther and Tiki keep themselves entertained. And off they go down the hall to play with their toys. Of course, Tiki's back and gone and back and gone. Thankfully, while they were playing around, they never bumped into the tripod.
Tiki's back to cat TV and Panther's deciding about whether to play with the toy. And yes, Tiki, our little one-year-old, boogies around quite a bit, rarely goes anywhere slowly. Panther, our six-year-old, kind of wanders here and there, loves to play, so it's worked out well. And the flashes of light that you may have noticed on that chair, I have a crystal hanging outside the living room window. It was a gorgeous sunny day, so the crystal light was shining into the house. And I'm moving books between the bookcase that you see here has 16 cubes. If you've seen some of my other videos, I'm bringing these books up to the 8 cube bookcase. And yes, Panther loves his pet stairs. He'll often lay on them on a sunny day. And he usually eats his meals on them. He also loves laying underneath them because directly in front of those stairs is the heating vent with a tray over it so it blows through and Sina, our 15 year old, just arrived. She's usually sleeping in my workroom. There's a couple of chairs she finds comfy, but she also comes out to see what's going on. And Panther checks in with her, which he often does throughout the day. And then of course, back to tell me his ideas for arranging books and wanting to know when is that table going to be free for me to stretch out again. So we had a nice little visit and a break as I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to organize the books, how I'm going to organize the books. And Zena, not our most active girl, but again, at 15 and she is diabetic, we give her a break and accept her as she is. Panthers notice that box now is empty, and that definitely makes it a panther favorite space. And Zena's on her way, just waiting for lunch. And back she comes. Where's my lunch? So she decided to make do with a few kibbles. Tiki, of course, has noticed crystal light on the wall. Checks in with Panther. Panther. 